Internet Disgrace is a comedy web show based off some guy's homebrewed D&D session which was animated to look like a five-year-old playing with paper dolls. And somehow it's actually really good. Self-proclaimed as My Hero Academia, but dumber, people in old regrets replaced can be born with quirk, I mean epithets, which are power sets based off a single word. For example, the epithet dumb might let you mute or simplify things, while the epithet sundial might give you the power to kill people by shooting them with a gun. Wait. Only one in every five people gets an epithet, though. That's why 90% of the main cast has them, and everyone else is a Mundy. Mundies don't get powers and have to work twice as hard as inscribed to get by with their normal non-magical skills, like glitching through walls or turning into magical girls. Sometimes inscribed can be turned into Mundies, but only by using a magical artifact called the Asinine Amulet, a gaudy necklace with a cool backstory that's never explained in canon, even though the creator's gone on record saying how terrible it is when shows make you do outside research. There are also eraser cups, which you would think by the name of both the item and the show erase people's epithets, but nope. They just make them forget it, apparently. Uh, but they can still remember the amount of stamina it costs to use the moves they forgot about, and they don't just forget other people's epithets. Wouldn't a criminal duo just remind each other of their powers the minute they got cuffed? Why do ghosts exist, and does that imply the main character's mom is just wandering around as a ghost? Why does the main character have star hair? Now, now, all good questions, my friend. And the answer is... The show's not really about the magic system. Boy, is it not about the magic system. Alphabet is all about the heart. With unique humor, charming characters, and adorable found family, it'll leave you feeling warm and fuzzy, just as long as you don't stumble into the wrong part of the fanbase. Actually, it's probably better to just avoid the fanbase altogether, because there are pirated copies of the source material floating about, and you wouldn't want to be a criminal, would you? Jello's Death's first and only season is split into two arcs, the museum arc and the objectively worse one that everybody only likes because they're gay at cowboy. But not to fear, the story is being continued on in book format, so you can relive the days when you actually read books. And if your poor Gen Z attention span can't wait that long for content, then the fans have got you covered. Some of them are so desperate for content that they've made full production scale parodies of the show. <laughs> Now it's time to introduce the main cast. Normally I'd make quippy puns out of the character names, but the actual canonical name of the main protagonist is Molly Wally Doodle All The Way Blind Death, and I just can't beat that. So instead, here are the main characters by the types of fans they tend to attract. Wholesome fans, and the ones we don't talk about. Angst lords that like adding trauma to characters who have none. Self-shippers. Self-shippers who think the name of the show is Arrow Spec Erased. People with good taste. Artists. Not artists. The fans who were responsible for turning Bill Cipher into a sexy twink. Bottoms. Literally no one, and it better stay that way. Jello Apocalypse. People who always fall in love with characters that have less than two minutes of total screen time. People who always fall in love with characters that have zero minutes of total screen time. <coughs> Actually, in the manga. And of course, everyone's favorite, Stink. All in all, Parapet is a great show with a well-written story, intriguing world, beautiful soundtrack, gorgeous artwork, and a ton of potential. Just be prepared to fill in half that potential yourself when Jello So This Is Basically Apocalypse inevitably loses interest halfway through and throws the unfinished scraps to the fans. I don't like doing any project for more than three, four years, so um, which doesn't bode well for Apathet because it has to be five seasons if I want to finish it. Well, my canon now! Hey, thank you so much for watching! If you liked this video and want more Epithet Erased content, check out my Tumblr at Epithet Erased Gen, because this channel will probably never make a video again. I spent real money on this, and I'm not getting paid. Speaking of which, this video was audio and visual edited by the amazing Jellybean, who is a dear friend of mine, and the art was all done by Masu, who is a dear enemy of mine. And Mr. Apocalypse, if you're watching this, thanks for making a great show, and sorry I stole half your jokes to make fun of it. That's it. I'm not gonna bother you about season two or demand that you make some ship cannon or whatever the fans do nowadays. But if Percy doesn't adopt Molly, I will find you in real life and sue you for emotional damages!